So first play of the game, uh, we used motion to develop an advantage on this play. Um, let's kind of check out how that developed. We used the tight end shift here, and you'll notice that Iowa State uses their safeties to account for the change in alignment. Um, so they bring this safety down. They're now showing us an eight-man front. And then at the last second, um, we bring DJ Monroe across. And so they, they account for this shift again with their safeties. Um, so they're going to back this safety up to be the free safety, and this safety is going to come down and become the force player on the outside here. Um, but what we do instead of running to this side where they have actually accounted for the shift um, is we take advantage of this weakened backside here. Um, because when they, when they do this shift, uh, this linebacker becomes the force player on this backside, but he doesn't have time to get in position to be the force player, so he doesn't have the leverage that he should to be able to keep this play from going outside. So we run flex outside zone, which is designed to seal off the defensive end and then pull these two linemen to the outside. And you know, one thing to notice is in space here, we don't cut with our blocker, and that produces great results for us. Malcolm Brown breaks loose, and if not for this horse collar tackle, um, this probably goes for a touchdown. Right? The, that player is not going to make the tackle on the leverage that he's got. Malcolm Brown keeps going there, most likely for a touchdown. Um, let's look at that again from the replay just up front. I want to also notice how Iowa State is playing um, in the front. So notice that when the ball is snapped here, what Iowa State's doing with their front is they're basically pinching their defensive line. What that means is that they're, all of their defensive line are trying to push inside off the snap, and they're going to try to control sort of C-gap to C-gap with their defensive line, and then that allows their second-level players to flow outside hard toward the ball. So we'll see that as kind of a continuing theme in the running game. Um, in this particular instance, that produced great results for the play that we had called um, because their defensive end um, takes himself out of position and allows our tight end to seal him easily. You can see Dominic Jones creates a great edge here for the flex play. And, um, you know, right now we've got two blockers, one defender, and the running back, you know, a whole lot of room. Um, so this is a nice play. It also broke some tendencies. We don't typically run flex outside zone to the weak side as much. Um, and the fact that we paired that with our um, jet sweep action is something else that was kind of new. Usually we run inside zone or power uh, paired with that play. So we caught Iowa State a little bit off guard on that play.